call to order at 5.36. Um, Booker has graciously agreed to take our minutes. And they will be here, not in five minutes after the meeting, but in the median hour. Maybe longer. I changed my mind. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no. um, so this is the July meeting of the Human Rights Commission, and our first item on the agenda is always public comment. And we do have someone from the public here today, so welcome. Thank you. Thanks for being here. Thank you. Uh, my name is Joshua Yersley. I live on 292 and a half South Street, so just down the street. Um, I'm here today because I want to talk about the pressing issue of facial surveillance. Um, Governments, and especially law enforcement agencies, are increasingly using facial surveillance to track and profile citizens. Uh, pervasive facial surveillance, in short, means that the government knows where everyone is at all times, which degrades our privacy and our civil rights, including free speech and assembly. Um, additionally, facial surve surveillance is still quite inaccurate. Um, this leads to false arrests and unjust harassment from law enforcement. Excuse me. Is yes. there a camera? It is. Oh, okay, I'm yeah. sorry, go ahead. Sure. <laughs> uh, even worse, it disproportionately harms women and people of color since it misidentifies them at higher rates than men and white people. Um, so with all of these issues, you might think that Massachusetts has laws that regulate facial surveillance. Uh, unfortunately, they have none. Um, however, 91% of Massachusetts residents support such regulation as recently polled by the ACLU. Um, and just last month, the City Council of Somerville voted unanimously uh, to ban the use by city officials of any facial surveillance technology. Uh, and I urge Northampton to do the same. Uh, I've developed a fact sheet on facial surveillance, uh, which I've brought with me. Uh, it discusses some cases where facial surveillance has been abused, uh, the support for regulations in Massachusetts, um, and how we as a city can address this issue. Um, so I'd like to distribute the sheet now, and thank you for your time. May I ask you a question? Yes, absolutely. Thank you very much for your comments, mm -hmm. by the way. Um, there have been issues in Northampton simply about surveillance right. without even getting to facial um, identification surveillance. Mm -hmm. Do you see those as separate issues? Or? Well, they're certainly linked. Um, the, uh, City Council did, um, so I'm sure you know, um, vote to ban the installation of city-owned surveillance cameras in the city last year. Um, unfortunately, even without the presence of fixed city-owned surveillance cameras, there's still many other ways that um, positive programs such as police body cameras, um, images and video from those sorts of um, uh, sources uh, can be used to um, as as part of a facial surveillance scheme. So Northampton has certainly taken strides to counteract surveillance broadly, um, but unfortunately there are still kind of side routes where uh, facial surveillance can happen and be abused, especially without any regulation at the state level. Does that answer your question? Great. Any other questions? Or? No, thank Great. you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Let's see. Let's see. There we go. Let me just pass those down. And I will um, make sure we get a copy to the commissioners who aren't here tonight. Great. Um, I was just told today by uh, Vice President of the Council, Ciara, um, I think I'm pronouncing Yes. Um, that they are actually working on something related to this. That's about okay. all I know. So, Good <laughs> thank you. City Council is? Yes, I don't really know any detail other than the fact that she said that she and a few other city councilors are working on something. So, that's about all I know. <laughs> thank you. Thank, thank you. you. Thanks for coming. Absolutely.
we'll have a chance to digest it. Discuss it. Maybe you could put that in the next one. Okay. All right. Um, next is an acceptance of the June minutes. Did anybody need a copy of those? Yes, I would. Did anyone notice any changes or? Do you have a second? Second. All in favor? Aye. I just want to criticize the fact that they were submitted. <laughs> <laughs> well, if Jeremy were going to be around, I would, you know, think of some kind of punishment for that. But so yes, um, out of order. Um, We did learn since our last meeting that Jeremy will be coming off the commission. Um, I know that there is another candidate who's in the mayor's office. Um, so I can follow up with, um, with them on that. They contacted me a, a month or two ago. We were already at full comment. As Rachel said earlier, it's nice to be, it's nice to have a full commission, and uh, I totally agree. So we'll see if we can get that um, filled as soon as possible. And Jeremy shared with me his folder of survey related materials. So he was going to try and be here tonight, uh, but it looks like he wasn't able to. So, so that's that update. Um, okay. Did you mention the last meeting? What was going to happen with the online survey? Um, the online survey is, he updated it in real time. Um, so we have all of the updates and the edits that people wanted to make are in there. Mm -hmm. uh, I have it in the Google Drive and um, do mean the survey results that he's accumulated so far? He's going to go online sometime on our website. Oh, yes. Yeah. Yeah, we haven't launched that yet. It'll be part of the communication conversation. Were you able to get. Um, Right after I got Jeremy's email, so I didn't know if I could say right, yes, or not, so, so I held off on So do you still have them? Yeah, I still okay. have them. Yes. Right, yeah. So we can get those. Okay, perfect. Sounds good. Um, so for the sake of the recording, we're, we're all finished my thought before I did. But we're talking about the surveys that were distributed at Pride yeah. that have not been uploaded yet. Anyone here love data uploading so much that they would like to do that? I'd be willing to do it. Yeah, okay. I will share access to the All right. Um, so this is where it gets real, folks. <laughs> we have to really. Um, oh, yeah, that's. No, that's the. That's the minutes from last month. But I do have to do that. Oh, you should be with them. But I can share my agenda. This is also my note to page. So what we would love to be able to leave here with tonight is uh, a more clear sense of how many of these conversations we're having what are the priority locations or communities that we want to include? Uh, and um, and then we'll talk about I have a draft of how the conversations might work. And we will talk about um, communication. Lori is ready to do the press release when we have uh, more clarity around the communities we're trying to reach out to and, and how the how the conversations will be structured. So we have done a bunch of brainstorming. We've filled that blackboard up a bunch of times. Uh, and we've talked about a lot of 
communities that we want to prioritize, that we, that we would love to talk to, but we can't prioritize everybody. So we need to make some decisions. And that's what I would like to spend uh, the next half hour or so talking about. Um, I can also let you know that I've already been in touch with um, Peg Heller, who is connected to homeless home and homeless advocacy folks in Northampton, and I have leads and locations of where we can have conversations uh, with those folks. So that's, I think we were pretty certain that that was one of the groups we wanted mm -hmm. to definitely include. So that is on, it's in process. Can you share that now, where that might be? Or do you uh, feel that's another time? There are, um, there's a resource center on Center Street where the cop shelter is in the winter. Um, that they have drop-in hours there that are staffed so we can talk with both staff who work with and also the clients that drop in. And the Mana Soup Kitchen uh, meal. Yes. See if any of the guests there want to talk about us. So it's just a um, uh, just a matter of uh, getting the schedules lined up. And it, it, you know, we can talk about who wants to be at each of these, with each of these communities that we're going to be talking to as well. Would it be helpful to go back and? Relist the communities that we've talked about before, or I think we, yeah. I mean, I think the point is we had a whole lot, and we're gonna have to pare them down. Yeah. So yeah, I think it would be helpful if we had a listed of which ones they are. I don't know. There, there might be some crossover, not with some, some populations. Uh, we had a few different immigrants. Um, there was the, um, hmm? the houseless population. Yes. Is that the same as pain handlers? Was the worker center the migrant workers or migrant or Pioneer Valley workers? Center. Right, just I have mm -hmm. mm -hmm. down anyway. There. Okay. Mm -hmm. 
uh, people who live in public housing. Right. Um, there was, was it the Center for New Americans, or is that English one? That would might be the same. Yeah, that might be... Uh, I saw that as New Immigrants. Yeah. People with disabilities. Disability community, yeah. Contacting these, the school, the Smith School for Social Work, but I see that more as a uh, written survey. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Right. So that might be a good way to look at this. Are there folks that we could reach um, through a written survey more uh, readily than some of the others on this list? Um, should we mark the ones we already have nailed down? Which is maybe sure. Yeah. Like a check or? Yeah. Right. And let's see, so this is July. Um, so we'll have August, September, October, November, and we want to come up with some kind of something to show or say in December. So like four months. How many? Four months and one, two, three, and eight camp, uh, commissioners. Four meetings. Mm -hmm. uh, we partially address schools and LGBTQ. I said we partially have addressed. We did. We have. We have uh, LGBTQ in schools partially. Yes. Mm -hmm. You want to put some other kind of marking. Right. Mm. We did get we've got the high school we're talking about Smith Oak and the middle school right. as well. Yeah, a good symbol for that. <laughs> a smaller check? <laughs> there you go. Um, and are we talking both uh, we're just we're talking well, we're gonna talking um, written surveys and well we're kind of trying to distribute the written survey information as broadly as we can. Right. That will be going to libraries and by December. But 
But, yeah, in person. Be in person. But when are we hoping to be able to compile the information? That's a great question. Because it feels to me as though we really should be doing it earlier, so that maybe by Human Rights Day in December we have something to show. Yeah. I mean, maybe that gives us a sort of deadline. Mm -hmm. That's my fault. Meeting around the last day. Yeah, that might be a good time to put that out. Yeah. It's, also, it's also hard to do, yeah. it's hard to do committee yeah. meetings yeah. between right. Thanksgiving. That might be confusing. I'm already confused. That might be getting I'm all totally the guess. meetings done. That's yeah. more. Yeah. Oh, wait, not done. Yeah. Oh, yes. 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 Right, because right, we haven't done this one yet. So my system's already failing. <laughs> but it's also hard because it's quite hard to, I mean, the chalk is very pale. Mm. Right, it's hard to see. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe I could address that. Well, I clearly think we need to do something for seniors. I, I you know. <coughs> well, which I agree with you, Joel. I, I guess, and I think that would be a richer group to actually have a conversation with I rather agree. than surveys. Are there other groups that we think it would be better to have a is conversation with survey? rather than survey? No, this is, this, this is oh. for the in-person. Oh, okay. That's what I thought. And I, I, Maybe I yeah, and I definitely think we need in-person for seniors. Okay. Can I put, so that's a check mark. Check mark. And then when we're finished going through this list, we'll look at all the check marks and decide if there are too many. Thank you. Okay. And with the recovery community, I actually just attended um, an AA meeting yesterday. My friend is in nursing school and she has to attend various meetings, so I went with her. And I think that might be better for not in person, just for um, anonymity reasons. Yeah, so I think that would be, and since I do have a little bit of a connection with the people there, they're very open to us and invited us to future meetings. I could like to meet, speak with them about bringing some, and some of them are part of other ones, not just AA, but yeah. other um, areas. But I think that might be a better one to maybe take off the list of not an in-person one, maybe just a paper one, just for that should I start a complex code where I write W next to that, or is that just going to get out of hand? <laughs> it works. Um, and what is W? For? Oh, written. Oh, written. No, I was going to get nervous. Yeah, yeah. No, yeah. 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 W for written is very good. That's, you know that that's written. Um, and of course, there's crossover in some of these. Yeah. She seems open to um, distributing written materials in her students class. I, I wasn't, I didn't get, have any assurance that she would, you know, I, I don't know how open they are to them serving. Mm -hmm. But definitely, she said, if you have any materials, pass them along and you can work something out. So, let's say maybe written or you know, for sure. I also think possibly it, it would be easier to do, it might be an easier to do a written one for city employees. I was thinking that group too. You know, that would be a good one for written. Maybe business owners too. Which one? Business owners. Yeah. Yeah, that would be another one that would probably be good for written. I would think that in person we, we want to use our energy for, for um, Communities that are generally more apprehensive or underrepresented, and or yeah. So the housing, I, it would be nice for us to actually physically show up. I think that's a yeah, public nice housing. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. So I check. argue for that one. That the problem? Or, oh, yes. So I'm gonna put is that okay? I'm gonna check. Yes. Yes. Yeah. So then I know uh, the other meetings. One of the biggest. We didn't have a single person that was not. I think there's only one meeting with this person of color that showed, so I think, yeah. Oh, um, not for, when in the past before, when we had our, um, kind of like our beta testing ones, so I, I know that was like a huge push for us wanting to work yeah. on speaking with other communities, so that one I feel like would be really important to speak in person. Okay. Um, Jeff, do you have any 
again, but I think then the question arises, how? Exactly, I was where? thinking that too. How do you specifically yeah. target, yeah. yeah. And that is different. And where? With the schools, I know they have various like clubs and associations, but out in the community, it does get a little bit well, How would you do the disability community? Uh, that we could ask the Committee on Disabilities if mm -hmm. they would co-sponsor it, and maybe on one of the evenings if they already have a meeting scheduled. I wonder how many people go to the meeting. Yeah, I don't know. Well, I, my guess is not very many. Unless there's, um, you know, I, I imagine when the PDTA changes were being discussed, they were, there's more activity. Mm -hmm. The commission itself is pretty large. I must say there was like 12 or 13 people there when I went to the meeting. My brother also has special needs and is very active in like whole children and, if you, and special mm -hmm. Olympics and things, so I have easy access to members of that community if needed um, to invite them to come to that meeting and I know many of them would be more than happy to attend something like that. So that would be like an easier way. It would be a little sneaky, but whether we could approach the Avros and see if they would be willing to share those with their clients. They would have, probably have to be surveyed rather than right. that. Right. So also the um, there's that artist's group in Florence. Um, oh, yes. Um, star, star, Starlight, Star. Um, it's Starlight. Is it Starlight? No. I think it's across sure. from the top. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. But those, again, it does sound like survey mm -hmm. to me, rather yes. than um, conversation. Right. And maybe it might be that talking both for the discipline can be both written and in person. I think so. Right. Mm -hmm. right. So. I need to check. I have to learn the system. Um, <laughs> I think it's really, I, I, I really think it's good to kind of hone in and be realistic about um, the in-person one so we can really do a good job because it's a little bit of like we're adversaries for the commission. And, yeah. Now, how, I, I don't, maybe this isn't the correct word, but I'll throw it out. I know it's how, how valuable is the emergency department hospital for this? And how would we do it? Right. Yeah, I'm just, I, I don't, I don't know that, I mean, they could give us information, I guess, but I mean, I'm not sure. Given all those other ones, you know, and a lot of those people probably don't even live here. I wouldn't say that, but I would think a lot of hus the hospital employees at Cooley Dick are not residents of Northampton. I, I don't know that, but I think that's true. You know, so so are we are we thinking staff? We're not thinking staff at the ER. So I I guess the what I would I agree with what you just said. Um, Though it's the largest employer in the city, so that's sort of important, and they see the city in a certain way. Now, I guess another question would be to approach um, staff at um, the president's office and sort of say, we're curious about this. And it would probably be surveyed in that conversation. Mm -hmm. But would they be willing right. I have to say, my employer, Bay State, is always sending surveys to fill up about a variety of issues and things. So, and I don't know. Cool. Yeah, I, I can vouch for that for my wife. Yeah. Um, but are they <coughs> Bay State surveys, or are they other people surveys? Um, some of them are. They're all by Bay State. They've been sanctioned by Bay State, but yeah. it's clearly being used for other reasons. I mean, some of it is satisfaction stuff, and, um, but some of it is just trying to understand issues. I mean, that's a discussion we would have to have with someone in the president's office, probably, to figure out. 
I mean, I think they see the city in a certain way. Yeah, no, I, I agree. And um, I'm not sure a lot of people have feelings about human rights and whether their needs are met by the hospital. So, I, yeah, clearly I, written. Clearly. I, I mean, I, what I would first say is it's probably a survey. I doubt that we're going to have a meeting. Right? Yeah. Um, so if we're going to pursue it, it would, it would be right. So you put it down, you put it down. Uh, yeah. I think probably, I don't know. Are you, were you in touch with the Worker Center? That's it. Me and I we haven't it. nailed down a... Okay. And I'm wondering, I, I don't believe that I offered the written option. Mm -hmm. And I kind of wish I had. Maybe that would that would be a, an option. I'm just, I was thinking, on the one hand, they draw from more than just Northampton. And then on the other hand, um, there's, that's definitely a, a different socioeconomic um, demographic than we should Yeah. I wonder if that would be a good written one. For the kind of anonymity issue, but I could ask about that. Uh, I mean, offer that option, which I did not. So why don't we put that down for now? Just to go back to a different story than. Just to go back to the hospital. I mean, I don't feel we can pick out the emergency department. Yeah. Right. I mean, it has to be a general hospital. Straight that through. We're racing. Yeah. I, so yeah, just, I, I have it. I've got everything she's got on the board in my notes, and um, I've got it down just as hospital. Okay. And by the way, I'm, I'm not using your. I'm saying survey or conversation. Oh, okay. You're using it for it. That's okay. All right. Um, what was your idea about the faith community? Well, my original thought was that it would be surveys, so. You know, it's a kind of usually what happens if you do that is you're ending up talking to people while you're doing this. Um, I, you know, I don't know if they could go. Anywhere. I mean, pro that it might be a it's a physical space. It's easier to plan in terms of in person. Right. That's a pro. Right. Um, I would think you get a good crowd. <laughs> you know. See, I, I guess the question will be, we haven't said what, what we mean yet by a conversation. And um, you can have, there's different kinds of conversations. Mm -hmm. I'm not sure that all faith communities would be like facilitators and everything else that would be put in use. But um, whereas I, you know, I think a senior center discussion, we're going to be facilitators. And public house if we go to public housing that requires some more. Yeah. And maybe on the other flip side of the faith community is that they might be very willing to go out and you know, exactly. the survey. So exactly. our efforts might be better. Yeah. See I think what yeah, I I I think we're gonna have to figure out how we're to focus our energy our present energy. Yeah. Meaning if we're gonna show up and have a meeting we're going to be really picky about what those are and how they are. Well, should I put a W by faith for now? That's what I would okay. prefer. Mm -hmm. Or less. Or less. I'm, I'm going to serve it. <laughs> Any other Or not in a 
think about how you get into the undergraduate um, kind of world.
whoever we have in our networks that are connected to Camille's car. I think we're in Northampton at the Insight Meditation Center. We have a people of color group, of, but that's all over in these Chinese places. Well, then the, well, we will have made the survey widely available, so straight, white, male business on the earth, you know, well, landed, landed people, you know, the, the folks who aren't identified in these communities that have been traditionally marginalized will have an opportunity to participate through right. a survey. want to do more follow-up with, um, would we like to include middle school or Smith vocational at some point in the fall in the survey? I think they could be written. Uh, Smith book would be, I, I would be interested to see that. I don't want to give us too much to do, but that would be a good addition. The, the total number we have from the high school is 30 something. That, that, that's our trend. Mm -hmm. But um, we've got that exact, a big enough sample you can. How large is the high school? I want to say 700. Yeah, 700. Yeah, I think we have to try. Mm -hmm. I, I think so. That things might be different. Yeah. And it's a group that isn't often sufficiently represented. Yeah. Yeah. But I think we also should try to go back to the high school. Oh, yeah. Right. And I think you're right, it would be really good to hear from the middle school. I, I think it's. More doable as it's written. Absolutely. Yes, so But but assuming that staff knew about it, maybe people could publicize it or hand it out. Yeah. Where is the role in the Forge our own pants. <laughs> and uh, we did get a pretty significant number of folks at Pride Day. Um, we don't know if they were all in retention residents or not. But is there a sense that we should go back for more? We should try and do another. I'm just circling back to the excess right. to see if we want to turn them into something. Okay, right. So how many, what numbers are we talking about? Roughly. Mm -hmm. How many, how many surveys do you think? I think 30. 
I know it was 20 something, but I don't yeah. know so the that's exact number. Yeah, so that's is 50. Mm -hmm. Is that considered a conversation? Because I certainly had conversations. You did as well. Yeah. yeah. Surveys. That's the data. Yeah. Right. Yeah. I mean, I would, I would love to, to do it. I've just been concerned about it. Also, there are a couple of Facebook groups for um, LGBTQ plus folks in Northampton that I can we can publicize the survey to. Oh. So let's do survey. So, so yeah, so turn that into a shouldn't have done that, but now we know so, okay. All right. So then do we say general five? So we have five or six if we do general. I can well, we're making an so eight for yeah. So maybe a W. That's the general. Now we've got five. Um, of course, an intersection, of course, because the community is large of people of color in this area. One for each month. <laughs> yeah. So maybe that's <laughs> it. Feels, um, I don't want to say it feels manageable and jinx it, but yeah. It does feel manageable. And I think we'll evolve and learn on the way, and then if we need to, to follow up or extend the circles into yeah. the beginning of the year, we can do that. So then do we need to take those five and prioritize them? Or do it by kind of oh, hanging fruit in terms of what we've already established mm -hmm. that we can. Uh, so we have. Yeah, I guess that's the only, uh, the only uh, one we have nailed down. Well, the date's not nailed down, but the, but the idea of yeah. it. Uh, okay. And the seniors can be done at the senior center, I assume. Yeah. Yeah. So I'm thinking that, that that we will ask the senior center to co-sponsor this. Right. Right. Yeah. yeah. I think it's a or well, possibly something that Northampton and they both. Mm -hmm. Yeah. They have a very large mailing list. Good. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I don't know if they've done that stuff before, but has anyone been in touch with Marie or Westwood or? Did you do that last time? Did you uh, go down the first circles you did? Did you go to the No, we didn't target anybody. We just did oh, it by oh, yeah, yeah, it was just oh, more, yeah. yeah. And then based on the turnout that we got, which tended to be more older white women, we, yeah. that's when we decided we wanted to do more targeted. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. to a couple of their meetings, right? Mm -hmm. So I can speak Would you be willing to do that? Yeah, I'm going to have 
good relationship, obviously, with whole children, especially right. all that, so it's very easy for you to. Fantastic. Yeah. And if they, if the disability committee would like to co-sponsor a conversation with us? I, think, I felt like they were open to that. I did approach the subject of that when I spoke with them, so yeah, they seemed open to it. We were supposed to go again. I can't remember yeah, I think who I was supposed to go with. Um, I think, I think you go. No, no, I think that, that was the one month that they canceled. They canceled. Oh, yeah, yeah. we were supposed yeah. to go in to actually invite them and ask them, and then mm -hmm. it was canceled. Right. I gotcha. There was no communication, right. but right. Right. it would be easy to follow up with them. Okay. Where did they meet? In the senior center. So the five communities we want to target specifically, seniors, homeless, public housing residents, disabled community, and people of color. Mm -hmm. okay. um, so, just, and Norell is going to contact the disability committee. I mean, I can call the senior center if you'd like and talk to Marie Wester, but uh, is that um, what we're thinking? And are, what I, is he asked to, what, what uh, No, go ahead. Oh, no, is he asked to nail down a date as well? Like, and to piggyback on it? Right. That might already be happening? We'd like, to, we'd like to hold it at the senior center. Is there, you know, yes, yeah, there an event that they have planned that might be, make sense for us to be part of or I mean, it's so it's so hopping down there, you know. I know there's always something. There's like mm -hmm. yeah. I mean, certainly we can have surveys available there, but I think it would be a good to have a conversation. Right. Okay. Um, so are we thinking which month are we thinking? Hold that thought for a second, because um, I want to go back to what Joel said about prioritizing these one, two, three, four, five. When you said to prioritize these. Were you thinking we should cut it down to a smaller number? No, no. no. I, actually, the way I was thinking of it is to look at it and say, which ones do we think we will have a good amount of people with the least effort? Mm -hmm. you know, so I, I, I'm just like we would get a good turnout with the seniors. Mm -hmm. I think they would really do it. That might be a great one to start out with as opposed to trying to start out with one where we're going to get, where it's going to be hard to get people. Mm -hmm. that, and then it would be help, helpful for us to do it with a big crowd. It was more it was more from a selfish standpoint on our part, really. No, I just wanted to say, I also, I think one of the things, one of the frustrations last time was contacting people and bringing them in. Right. And I think if we co-sponsored it, Assuming they were willing, with Northampton neighbors, mm -hmm. I think that we really have the possibility of getting good numbers. I agree. Because so, that was the hard thing with all these is how do you how do you give people information and get them to come? Right. Right, and that was my thought. I was just thinking if we could start with a bang, it it could snowball it a little bit. Um, Davina, do you have? Uh, have a contact at North Hampton Neighbors, that you'd love, or, do you, or do you think I should just call the senior center and call? Um, call Diane Porcello is the paid staff person for North Hampton Neighbors, and I, I, if you use the Google machine, it will give you a phone number. <laughs> um, perhaps I should do that before I call, so I can tell Marie whether we're co-sponsoring. Or maybe it doesn't um, matter. Maybe it doesn't matter. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. I mean, Northampton Neighbors isn't explicitly a, a, for senior citizens. It just happens that a lot of their members are retired. Oh, I think it is. Oh, people over 55. Oh, is it? The Northampton Neighbors is, which is different from the 413 thing. Um, okay. Northampton Neighbors, but is it is it uh, isn't it younger folks helping? No. Folks? I mean, oh. I mean, there may be some of that, but on the whole. It's it's people over fifty five exchanging services. Oh, okay. I get I get confused between that and the Hampton Connects. 
Exactly. Okay. Exactly. So no comparison, right? <laughs> <laughs> because there's not how to connect, which is the group that met. But there's also an online group of 413 connects, which is quite separate. No, they're separate. Mm -hmm. yeah. No, I know I'm bringing up the step yes. at um, the Minister for Cathedral on the Night works very closely with a large houseless and recovered community. And we just couldn't find a way that we could get everybody comfortable Mm -hmm. sitting face to face. Right. So. Right. Was it because, I know well, the first Well, and time some of it was Northampton Connects. Uh, okay. I was going to ask, was some of it, uh, when it was being held at JFK, I know that was an issue with like, transportation, things like that. Do you think it would be different if we're going to their communities, or was it not wanting to speak with uh, Northampton? I don't know the answer. You know, okay. that's why the second meeting was at Edwards Church, and it was after their Dinner. Dinner. Yeah. So we were trying to make it mm -hmm. easy, and it still didn't really work. Mm -hmm. Do you, would you want to take this idea to step into? Yeah, I can talk to you. Right, and I'll talk to the people at the resource center. So. I wonder if this is a group that, rather than come to a meeting, would actually feel safer doing it written, but We can certainly make the surveys available to the places where... I, mean, I think that's, that's what I would ask. Yeah. Or would they want to have a meeting mm -hmm. without us? Mm -hmm and just sort of give a report back. Mm -hmm. I, mean, I, I think there are a variety of possible solutions. Mm -hmm. Can we provide, you know, on our budget, can we provide some amount of assessment to something that might help? Uh, is anyone willing to be in touch with the Northampton Housing Authority? And maybe you can 
connect with the Tenants Association at Florence Heights or Hampshire Heights? You know, if this, we did this in person, it would encompass some of that. I, mean, I guess I just need to find out what my um, opinion of the center is on that. But <clears throat> when I contact these different groups, I will go up to these different agencies. I would introduce myself wanting to particularly target to hear about these groups. And so, um, I, I think that's kind of a more subtle way to go about it. Mm -hmm. but, yeah. I don't think there's any other, I don't know, full color idea. There's not like an umbrella group that's not the same. Yeah. 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 So, there's no I way guess. to do that. Yeah. I agree. Yeah. 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 Unless we have something that's like a general session saying that we particularly want to invite people to go to this session. I mentioned might not uh, be necessary if we have a candidate to play, so I, just, I, I agree with that. <laughs> okay. In 
to resend that until necessary. Um, I just looked up like people of color organizations in Northampton Mass. And I got a list in Western Mass as a whole. Mm -hmm. Many in Northampton, most of them are like Holyoke, Amherst. Um, mm -hmm. But there are a couple, one of them, I kind of see the ones, yeah, just there's a few that we could potentially reach out to, um, just to kind of maybe they could reach out to their communities and their people. Um, and one that is the, that is located in Northampton, um, the Western Mass PCLU Legal Office. So I wonder if we'd be interested to contact them and see about cases or people that they've worked with. Um, and then another one was a Western Mass. Um, this is such a long list. It's, great, but there's just not many in our area. Right. Can't find, there's another one that was um, for Western Mass in general in terms of um, working with race in Western Mass in general, so maybe reaching out to them because they have a website and then maybe they potentially have like a mailing list as well and it seems to be a way, um, yeah, it's community-based activism, Massachusetts Community Action Network, um, so they reach out to anybody within the Pioneer Valley area that they might be good at reaching specific groups within the uh, I just thought the ACLU legal team might be an interesting perspective. Sorry to interrupt. Yeah. No, thank you. What did we do before Google? Yeah. <laughs> I don't remember those days. Another one on, on that too is uh, is the law firm. Which one is it? Right? On on the Sonic. Kern and yeah, Kern and Berger. I mean, they their their primary job is immigration law, and they deal specifically with um, you know ICE situations, things like that. I have a friend there. I'm sorry. I have a friend there. So do I. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I, I don't know, but they might be able to direct. Uh, you know. I'm here. Uh, there's a, an immigration um, specific person at the at the office, the Western Mass ACLU office. Oh, really? Yeah, I think it's, I believe his name is Amelia. Mm -hmm. It's Booker Valley. Um, you even put a hole punch to bless your heart. That's, <laughs> that was the only paper I had in my Oh, well, I'm glad you did. <laughs> <That's> wonderful. <laughs> so, um, so this is just a draft, which I sent, I promised last time, I was bring a draft of um, how a, how a listening in session might work, or it might look like. Um, and I realized that the questions we identified in the meeting last month are slightly different. So these are, you know, plug and play. We can switch them out, switch them out. Um, and also gave you a copy of the Universal Declaration of Human Rights. Um, so, if, and I think it would be nice to use an, an excerpt of this for the framing of the conversation. But if we read the whole thing, we will never. That would take half the meeting. It would take half the meeting. It would lose everybody's attention. Um, so, I invite you to read through this and uh, identify language that you think might be a good uh, framing language and we'll come prepared to discuss that on at the August meeting. Because we have a different, there's a more of a one page um, list of human rights from the, which was shorter than mm -hmm. this. Yeah, this is the whole Because the one, I thought the one we used last year which was just a page. I thought it worked well. It we, then we read it at the beginning of each, yes. each uh, listening session. Yeah. I think Lori had it. Okay. Would you put something in the notes that we will ask Lori for that condensed version? Well, this is great. So this, 
I know I've just handed it to you and you haven't really had a chance to digest it yet. But. Um, any questions or thoughts as you're reading through it? Thank you. Um, the shared guidelines, we had some uh, last year that we're going to reuse again. Um, you know, things like using I statements. Or, uh, I, I couldn't put my hands on the list. So good question, I scan. update on the uh, city budget, which included a gift account for the Human Rights Commission, Hooray. which included a C fund of $1,000. Oh, okay. That's wonderful. So we can, so yeah, we can offer refreshments. Refreshments. Yes. Pay, is that pay for copying costs right. at a larger right. scale? Yeah, that's great. Yeah. Um, and we can also accept gifts. So folks want to make a donation to the Human Rights Commission. Oh, that's great. We can accept checks. So that's good news. Yeah. Um, was there a particular council person who pushed that through or who was responsible? Yes, mayor. Mayor? Mm -hmm. <coughs> okay. His honor. Yeah. We talk about setting up some sort of like Paid help on or something on our website, and who, 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 who,
just not on site. It's the city. Okay. Um, I'm glad I was. Um, so my, what I'm going to do is to send the review, the revised survey to everyone, which we sort of did together in the last meeting. Um, and unless there are, if you see any changes that need to be made, send them back to me. If it's just typographical, I'll just fix them. If it involves the substance, substantive thing, I'll, I'll bring it to the August meeting. And if, um, if we don't need any substantial changes to them, I will just bring paper copies in August. And, um, and ask folks to identify who they, who they will share them with or how you can share them. Lori put on the agenda um, places like the libraries, congregations, survival center. And then Lori will be working on a press release. And she asks, what other documents do we need to create for this project? So Lori's going to work on the press release. We've got the draft of um, what we'll need for the actual conversations. Um, Social media, last year we did a special event page for each of the ward meetings. We can do that for these as well, if we want. Uh, do we want to have, we, we want to have physical surveys at the actual conversations, I'm guessing, for people to take. Yes. Are there any other handouts we want to have available at the conversations? Did we talk about having a sheet on the Human Rights Commission? Yes. So, there too. Pardon? Put a donate link there. <laughs> yes. um, when you give, when we give the surveys, at the, are we, are they, how do they get them back to us? Are they expected to? Great question. Um, or can we give them postage? We can. I would say get, they, they can send them to the mayor's office or drop them off in the mayor's office. The mailing address would be the city hall address. Yeah, or the library. At least Forbes Library. I don't think Lily's going to do anything. Right. I mean, I'm pretty sure it might be that people just do them right there. I'm just trying to think. Yeah. That might, that's probably what will happen. And yeah. And that would be a good thing to encourage somebody else. Right. No, it, would, it would be good to encourage. Mm -hmm. All right, so um, would some, is there anybody who would like to work on the education piece about the HRC or? I was supposed to do that. I was just supposed to get some info from you from a previous flyer. I think oh, okay. Or something. Because okay. um, I wasn't sure exactly what to write on it, but I, I know that I was on the list to okay. create the flyer for it. Great. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I think, yeah, we'll talk after. Okay. Um, how about social media? If they want to create event pages or I mean do we do we have a HRC Facebook do not page. Oh okay. So we just do it as individuals? I mean I I know how to create a event. Mm -hmm. so yeah, so last year I last year. Last year I created a like a yellow and black and white block or something that so there were seven of them for each of the wards and they had this um, similar look right at different dates. Right. Okay. Um, I can I can look on that. Next meeting. 
Are we going to be able to talk about dates for the actual yes. conversations? Yes. Yeah, I think we have to. I think that the folks who are making the contacts are going to be asking those questions. And I, I guess when asked about dates, we just want ASAP. I think what Megan said is that yet we want to try and accommodate these, mm -hmm. these communities if we can. So if they say these would be the best dates for our people, yeah. Or, or, yeah, we want to try to complete the, all the initial set anyway before the end of the calendar year. Mm -hmm. Hopefully that's possible. Yeah, so sometime in the fall, and um, when we get the dates back, then we can see who, which commissioners can be available for which of those. And we can also work out when the press release should go in. Thank you. 